let me show you this small haul that we got this weekend because I think some of these items are really cool. One in particular I have not seen before and I'm very excited about it. Um, first of all, let me show you these glasses. Very pretty. And I think they're perfect for the holiday season. I did only find two, but I picked these up for a really good price. I think they were only a dollar a piece. And they are the snowflake. These are probably mid-century. They have the federal mark on the bottom. So these are federal glass. So pretty. Got to get that tape off. This little fella is adorable. If you know, I love plants. I want to keep him so bad, but I think I am going to put him in my Etsy shop. This is a McCoy planter and he's in really good condition. He's just got a tiny bit, not even really any discoloration in there. Um, I think I saw maybe a tiny little spot right there, which I'm not even sure that's a crack, but that's pretty much what's to be expected on these. He's a little frog guy, um, not marked on the bottom, but this is McCoy. I, I know that from research and also I've seen these before. They come in different colors. They actually have one that has like a pink and yellow color scheme. This one is super good condition. Got him for really, really reasonable. So picked him up in an antique store and he is going to go in my Etsy. Perfect for a little succulent plant to go in. He's just adorable. This actually would be really cute to use for organization too. You could put something in there. I don't know, pens or anything. I don't know if you'd want to do that, but he's just adorable. Very cute. When I find copper molds, I usually pick them up. They do really well. I'll just tell you one that I have sold over and over again, and that's the lobster. Now, this thing has a funny look. A lot of people are like, it don't look like a lobster, okay? But um, it, it, it is a lobster. It's supposed to be hung this way. This is the smaller one. So it's not worth a ton of money, but I have sold the larger one and the smaller one. A lot of you who do trivia will know that in the Golden Girls, there was a larger lobster hanging in their kitchen, which is just a fun little fact. I don't know if you think that's, I don't know if you watch the Golden Girls anyway. And then I picked up this one, which is really pretty. Shells do really well for me, any kind of beach theme. Um, so this one is um, very cute. So this one was cute, it's a nice size. I will sell these separately just because they're not really the same theme but they don't sell for a ton of money, but they are kind of like a bread and butter item that I've talked about before where you can make your money back on them. And I got these for very, very cheap. I got these two convex pictures and they call them that because it has the bubble glass over the top and then it's like reverse painted, which I think I have a glare on there. Is that better? Um, it's like the reverse painted and then behind it has the photo. These actually do go together. It's a two couple. Well, they're different couples, but they were sold together. Anyway, these were sold together. I found these for really, really reasonable. They're in great shape. They have a little um, hanger on the back and the sides, the frame is metal. This frame, only one of them had a little bit of discoloration on the frame, which is not really bad considering the age of these. These sell really well for me. They're kind of hard to find at a reasonable price. A lot of people have them priced up when you, especially if you get them in an antique store, but this booth was having a sale. They already had them priced very reasonably and they had them on sale. This I found, I picked up for myself. This is actually a little platter. It's marked the Taylor Smith Taylor is the pottery company. I'm not sure if this actual verse was on it or if someone put it on it, but it has the 23rd Psalm on it. It came with the plate hanger already on it. I just really like ironstone and any of the white dishes. So I got it because it's the perfect size to go in just like a little bitty area. Um, I'm not sure if I'll hang it on the wall or if I will actually like set it in a shelf or on a shelf. But I did get this for myself just because I liked it and I won't. I, so this why I won't be selling, I'll be keeping it, but I got it for hardly anything. And I just thought it was in really good condition. When I saw the Taylor Smith Taylor, I knew it was vented. I'm not sure if this will actually sell, but we thought it was cute. I'm just pulling the price tag off there. We thought it was cute. We saw it at the antique store. It was, they were getting rid of everything. Everything was 50%. If it's a cleat, it's a cleat. It's Mark Japan. It has some numbers on the side. It's Mark Japan. I'm not sure the maker of this. I would have to look it up. 
They, um, but it has like a little football helmet on it and a football. The color's kind of wonky. I don't know if anyone will really be interested in the um, orange and yellow, but it is very retro. It's a little planter, or you could use it for anything. Put it on a desk or whatever. We just thought it was really cute. I'm gonna see how this does. This will be something new for me. I have not sold one of these before, but the football theme is really big and someone may be able to come up with some really cool way to use this. And I think that um, they might be interested in it. So I'll have to research it a little bit to see what to price it at, but I am gonna put this in my Etsy store. And this next item was what I was really excited about. These are, okay, for these, these wall decorations. They're the plastic wall plaques. These are Burwood products, which is marked on the back, which is all part of that like home co. Sirocco, those type things. These are in excellent condition. And the reason I love them is for because of the theme. Butterflies sell really, really well for me. And these wall art, I have not seen this particular one. Now I'm holding it like this because if you look on the back, that is the way that the hanger goes. This right here to me looks like it should go like this. And I, I honestly think you probably could hang it that way. But maybe not. Maybe maybe it does go like this. Maybe the little butterfly was just coming along and he's landed on the branch. So anyway, the the way the hangers go on the back, and they both still have their hangers. They're both still they both have their markings on them, and they both have their little metal hangers, and they're dated. And this, so they go like this. This is the way they go. But these are beautiful. These are going in my Etsy shop. Um, they, I was really happy to find these. I would say I paid up a tiny bit for these. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to price them at and how much I'm actually going to make off of them. But I really, really like them. And I do think somebody out there might be looking for these because they are kind of hard to find in my area. So really excited about those. In the USA, I'll insert the date on these. I've got a look. Um, I can't, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see the date. It's in those Roman numerals, but I'll look up the date and I'll insert the date for you. And that is all. Just a short little haul. Just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was some really interesting things that we picked up. Don't forget to come back in December because I am doing Vlogmas, which means a video every day in December leading up to Christmas with something Christmassy and hopefully fun. I'm hoping to make maybe some snacks, maybe share some recipes and maybe some cocktail recipes and just find some fun Christmas type things. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you. Thanks for coming by and spending some time with me. I always appreciate you and I hope that you will come back again. Please subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. That helps me out. It helps me know who is my community and what kind of videos I can make for you guys. If you just want to hang out and come back and chat, please come back. I will be here and I'll see you in the next video.